Hello guys, this is Damien from forexbot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So now I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. I'm currently seeing a well known pattern on the chart, a triangle pattern, which I'm currently marking for you. Over here, the triangle has a pretty much symmetrical structure, approximately. Although the upper side of the triangle has bigger inclinations, so the triangle is not symmetrical, maybe. However, since uh, the triangle cannot be related with a big trend because the market is like mm, it's not like it is a it doesn't look like this is a correction uh, from the previous trend and for this reason I'm not sure if this pattern should be treated as a flag for example although it has a it has a pole. However, this big drop and the rebound that came afterward is related with the mixed jobs report which came from the US today on April 7, 2017. And uh, the drop and the regain was not like created uh, in a natural way. For this reason, I'm going to treat this as a triangle which can break in either of the two sides it can break upward or downward and I will trade in the direction of the breakout wherever I identify a breakout when the breakout come when the breakout appears I will trade in the direction of the breakout for a price move equal to the vertical size of the triangle pattern I'm measuring this vertical size of the triangle pattern with the gray rectangle you see on the chart then when the price breaks the triangle, if the breakout comes to the lower level, I will trade for a minimum price move to the low of this rectangle, somewhere over here at 110.35 maybe. If the breakout appears through the upper level of the triangle, I'm going to trade in bullish direction. I'm going to open a long trade and I will stay in the market for a minimum price move at least 211 0.05 now let's mark each of these two levels on the chart the two targets 111.05 it goes with green because it's a target and this should be somewhere at 110.05 Point thirty five, maybe it is hundred ten point thirty five over here. So now we have both targets on the chart. Oops, I deleted the second target. We have both targets on the chart, and now we're waiting for a breakout to appear either through the upper or through the lower level of the triangle. And I suggest that until the breakout appears, we pause the video and I'll come back to you later to see how we're entering this trade. Okay guys, I'm back about 5 minutes later to tell you that the price is currently breaking the upper level of the triangle over here. Which is the reason I'm going to buy half lot of uh, the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. All right, now I'm long. At the same time, I'm going to place a stop loss order at the opposite side of the triangle pattern. So 
somewhere over here below the lowest point of the triangle so i'll be able to mitigate any possible uh some kind of a big bearish tick on the chart at the same time i'm gonna place my take profit order at the target i stated earlier somewhere over here Okay, now I'm gonna delete the previous target, uh, the other potential target, because the price broke through the upper level of the triangle. And at the same time, I'm gonna mark this level with with red color. The entry point is gonna be marked with white. Okay, and now I'm going to pause the video again, and I will come back to you later to see how is this trade performing. Okay, guys, we're back about a couple hours later to see that the price of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair has accomplished my target at uh, 111.05. Now let's do some calculation uh, I entered the market uh, approximately at uh, 110.75 and I stayed into the trade until 111.05 which is a 30 pips profit so I remind that the Japanese yen based forex pair have their pips located at the second digit after the decimal so 0 0.30 is 30 pips in this case, which is my profit. I divide 0 0.30 by the entry price, which is 110.75. And I get 0 0.0027. And when I multiply this by 100, I get my percentage profit from this trade, which is 0.27% profit. Uh, extremely good result for only a couple hours. 0.27% uh, profit, which is like uh, 30 pips profit from this trade, which I took in bullish direction as a result of a breakout through a bullish triangle over here. A uh, very good trade. At the same time, notice that the price increased further, which is an um, additional profit which I didn't manage to catch. But I decided that it is safer to play it this way and not to pursue eventual flag pole or pennant pole in this case. Because this pennant was created as a result of a rebound um, caused by a sharp price drop due to mixed jobs data from the United States and I assume that this is not a relevant pennant pole and this is not a pennant pattern and it's a rather a, a triangle and I missed like the other part of the profit but still the trade is relatively profitable so there is nothing to be sorry about 0.27% for only two hours very good trade at the same time my stop loss order was relatively tight only like uh, 19 pips away from my entry price very good trade i hope you enjoyed it so thank you very much for watching this was damian from forexboat.com looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session and until then i wish you happy trading